<clears throat> hey everyone, welcome in. I'm Jess. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time for some cartographers. But today, y'all, I'm doing cartographers heroes. Uh, because these next two maps have some cool stuff and a little more difficult. So I figured having some heroes try to battle uh, would be best. <laughs> so yeah, let's say hi to everybody in the chat. Panda Angel is here. Hello. Haley is here. Hello. Anyone else that's working and lurking? Just plain working or just plain working? Whoa, Panda. Subscribe for 10 months. Thank you so, so much. Appreciate that. Uh, for those that don't know, friends, uh, this month is called September on Twitch. Uh, so get your subscriptions in. I don't know. I guess it's like discounted, I think. I don't know. I didn't really read up on it. Um, however, if you do have Amazon Prime, you can uh, use that. They, If you have a, a Prime membership, you get uh, one subscription a month to the channel of your choice. So if you haven't used it, uh, please, please, please consider um, subscribing to the channel here. It's discounted. 25% off new subs. Gift subs are cheaper in the last three or so days of the month as well. Interesting. Okay, so it's super discount. Discounts galore. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me know, friends, how everything is sounding. I don't have any background tunes today, um, because I felt like I was going to be talking a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's see. Whoa, book of nerds! Uh, yo! <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. Good to see you in here, my friend. Um, wow, 32 months. Um, that's like three babies. <laughs> uh, and we're so close to a hype train, y'all. That's insane. That's insane. Oh, goodness me. That's crazy. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate that. Um, Panda, I will be working on your um, your sound effect this week. So by Friday, it should be ready. It should be ready by Friday. Um, anyways, yeah. So if you all want to play along with me today, um, here is the link in the chat. We're going to be playing Undercity today and then Frozen Expanse. So those are map packs three and four. And um, shout out to Thunderworks Games because they uh, graciously gave me um, most of the map packs. Uh, I already had one already, so they gave me all the other ones I did not have. So shout out to Keith and Kurt over there at uh, Thunderworks. Um, it was really, really kind of them to send these over and uh, yeah, no worries. Thank you for the lurk, always appreciated. So let's get down to the table. It's okay, no worries, Panda. Um, yeah, it was not a requirement for you to join me every week. So <laughs> I appreciated you when I did, when you did come and then uh, it is okay. I will fly solo and I am totally okay with that. Uh, so today, friends, we're going to start with the Undercity. I'm doing um, the map uh, U1 for Undercity 1. And you will see there's a gate here. And there's an above ground section and a below ground section. So in Undercity, hello, Gus, welcome in. So it says there's new sheets, new scoring cards, things like that. The underground Undercity map has two sections, above ground and below ground, okay? Which are separated horizontally by the ground line here. These sections are connected by the gate, which is considered to be a filled in space, all right? On the other side, there is no gate. So they tell you if you start with this side of the map, then you're supposed to draw a gate somewhere in the above area. But for 
Now we're just doing it here, okay? Uh, players may only draw shapes so that they are entirely above ground or below ground. When drawing a shape, a player must place it so that the continuous path of filled spaces can be traced from the new shape back to the gate. All right, so we have to connect it all the way back to the gate. Whoa, oh my gosh. Gift and subs, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. And Deadpan, you've got a subscription, my friend. Be sure to shout out Book of Nerds for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that gift sub. Very kind, very, very kind. Uh, yeah, so if a player cannot legally draw any of the available shapes, they instead draw a one by one filled in square of any terrain, excluding mountains, but they must still be able to trace a continuous map path back to the gate, all right? So we gotta, this is the depths of Sabic we're going with today. Now I'm playing with heroes. And uh, what's different about heroes is that there are cards that will come out from the deck here and they will be a particular hero. Heroes have different uh, striking range that they will be able to utilize for defeating minions and things like that. Um, and those will come out as, as the game progresses. Right now I only put in one for the first round as well as one ambush card. And then if none of them get drawn from this round, then we put another one, another hero in and another ambush card in. But if the hero cards get drawn or if the ambush cards get drawn, then they get discarded. Just making sure I do that. Do, 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 do. Yes, return it to the game box, okay? So we will still have the four seasons going on. We will still have our edicts or our objectives here. So let's see what they are. First is the Sleepy Valley. It says earn four reputation stars for each row that contains three or more forest spaces. All right, so we need lots of forest here. Next, we've got the Crayland. Earn seven reputation stars for each cluster of farm spaces adjacent to three or more water spaces. All right, so farms and water want to be next to each other, but at least three water spaces next to a farm. Then we've got Edict C here is the caravansary. Caravansary. Car caravansary. <laughs> Uh, choose a cluster of village spaces and earn one reputation star for each row and column that contains a space from that cluster. So you kind of want it like a little bit of zigzag in there. Hey, hey, Quaid, welcome in. I am just starting. If you have time and you want to play along, my friend, I am doing the um, Undercity and the Frozen Expanse maps today. So feel free if you want to get your player sheets out uh, and join me, that would be awesome. No pressure though, no pressure. And then we have Azima's Bones. Earn five reputation stars for each different terrain type adjacent to the bottom edge of the map, excluding mountains. Oh gosh. So we want it down here, the bones. The bones. All right. Well, that's uh, that's going to be difficult considering we have to trace a, a contiguous line back to the gate. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes, huh? We'll see. All right. So again, friends, since we are doing, um, since I'm playing solo today, we're going to resolve ambushes via solo mode. And... Um, Any other things? Basically what it is is just, just um, the only difference here is just you have to make sure you place the shapes fully underground or fully above ground and have them connect to a gate. Okay, so there we go. All right, good luck everybody. Have fun. No worries. Do some work, Quaid. Appreciate you hanging out. All right, here we go, friends. And we're starting, oh, we're starting with ruins. Seriously? Okay, so ruins cards, remember friends, whatever the terrain type is, one of the squares of that shape must be on a ruins space. 
Okay. <clears throat> well, that is an issue. So since I can't draw it, because it has to be on a, it has to be on a ruins, and it has to connect all the way back to the gate. And since it's our first card, that we cannot do that. Uh, we're just gonna have to draw a one square. I'm pretty sure one square back to the gate. Entirely above ground or entirely below ground must place it so a continuous path. If a player cannot legally draw any of the available shapes, they instead draw a one by one square, but they must still be able to trace it back to the gate. So our first shape, awesome, we cannot draw. Hi, Tan. So I'm going to just draw it uh, next to the gate, apparently. So I'm gonna draw this farmland here. Not off to a good start, everybody. Not off to a good start. And right now it is two out of eight. So for springtime, we're going to be scoring these two edicts. It is, the clock is at eight, and currently this card is at two, so we still have plenty of time to go. Good grief, man. That's not a good way to start. Okay. <clears throat> We witnessed the return of your shuffling skills. Yes, oh, okay, good. so Tan. Yes, thank you, thank you. I've been needing a good grief today. I swear, y'all, I did shuffle these. I did, I did, I did, I did. All right, next we've got a settlement. So we have a couple options. We can either draw a two by one with a coin or get this nice little stair step. So the settlement scoring happens as follows. So a cluster, so each row and column from that cluster. So this one seems like it would be a good shape to do, I feel like. And remember, we gotta, con we gotta draw a continuous pathway back to the gate. So I'm gonna do this here. We've got Two and then one. See, if this was my first shape, instead of that other one, I would have covered a ruin and it would have been totally fine. Okay, but alas, that was not the way the cards came out. So here we are. Yeah, subscribe. Awesome, deadpan. There you are. Hey, Razor, no worries. Thanks for the lurk. Always appreciated. Welcome in. Okay, next card, everybody. Oh, no, we've got our first ambush. It is the giant troll ravage. It says, after scoring each season, destroy an empty space adjacent to the giant troll. Well, that's great. Great, everybody. Uh, so, it's got to start in the upper right, in the upper right corner, okay? So, it starts up here. I can draw it, however, it is not connected back to the gate. So, I'm assuming I can't draw it legally. I'll have to, I'll have to have it go around here. So I'm thinking it has to be right here. Right, Tan? I would think so. If I'm placing the troll, if I'm placing, I can't, I can, I can place the troll here. There is empty space. However, it is not connected back to the gate. So I'm assuming it doesn't count. That I would need to make sure it connects to a current shape um, to go back to the gate. I will double check. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it just says a shape when drawing a shape. So that's how I'm going to understand it. That's how I understand it. So I'm gonna draw it so that it's here. Cause you can't rotate it. 
So this is going to be a troll. Troll! And then it says, after each season, destroy an empty space adjacent to the giant troll. Gross. So I'm going to have to put it here just so we remember it. Okay, everybody? So we remember it. Um, it did not take any time from us, but still, it is not great. It is not great. Okay. Next one, we have got a lagoon. It's a lagoon. So we've got a nice uh, little two square here with a coin, or we've got a T shape. And remember, we want the farm spaces adjacent to three or more water spaces. However, this one would only be connected to two maximum. So this one won't score me anything. I'm realizing that now, not great. Joe Sondow, good morning. Good morning, my friend. I hope you are having a fantastic day. And you are up early, sir. Oh my goodness. I know you're usually a later riser. Good to see you, though. Okay, so, man, so maybe I should just plan ahead for future, for the future. All right, I guess I'll do water, or do I do that here? I guess I could do water. If I do water here, then I can get a coin. Yeah, that might not be great, but you know what? Coins are points, and that's what I need. Coins are points, coins are points. It's okay. I will be playing a second game today, so feel free to hang out. And if you want to play right. the second game, you're welcome. <laughs> Points. That's right. That's right. Okay, so I did that shape so that I get this here. All right, so we are at four of eight, everybody. Four of eight. Now we've got a pasture. All right, so again, we have another fun shape. Uh, this is two squares with a gap in between and a coin, or we can do this little Z. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I got to do it. I got to do it, y'all. I got to do it. So I'm going to do this here. Gotta do that. Get in my farm spaces. This is gonna be a weird map. It's a weird map. Okay. I'm gonna be doing the frozen expanse, Joe. So here we go. There, there's the site. Uh, we'll have downloadable maps. So I'm doing Frozen Expanse next. Okay, so right now we're at two, three, four, five out of eight. Oh, I need to do something. See, I realized that I totally just, I could have done the water over there. That was silly because I got trolls. Ugh. Good grief. Can I get good grief? Another good grief in the chat. Oh my word. Oh, free space. Here we go. Free space. Cause I'm oh, free. Got a free space. Ba -da -ba -ba. Cause I'm free. Free space. Thank you. Thank you, John. All right. Good grief. So I'm going to do a foresty here. My lollipop trees. Lollipop trees. Lollipop trees. 
Now, I need to do something about this up here. I need to do something about this. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Right, Tan? Okay. Oh, we got a ruins. I think so. Again, we got to draw. Oh, shoot. We've got our first hero, Plex the Tyrant. What? So, for a hero, friends, this is the space that they are currently occupying, and then this is their range, okay, where all the, where all the little blasts are. So when you draw it, you must... You must have it so that the blast spaces can get covered. Look at this dude though, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool looking. A tyrant. What is it? What are all, oh. <laughs> it's a Picard face palm. Oh my gosh, Joe. I love that, I love that so much. Okay, so I know I want to take out some trolls. So if I do this here, 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 and if he's here, then he'll take out this too, but that's okay. So I'm going to do this pink H. Hero. So this is taken out. Blam. This is taken out. Blam. And these are taken out. Blam, 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 blam. That's okay though. Taken out. All right. Uh, let's do, let's see, what side, what side are we gonna do, Joe? Let's do, Let's do the first side. Let's do this side, Joe. Okay, side F1. So I, I'm thinking it's side A. Expanse A. Okay. <coughs> All right, so the hero, he has done his, he has done his work. He goes away now. Okay, so. That did not take any time. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. The hero. Hero. Does the hero have to be on a ruin space? Did I do that wrong? Oh, no. Oh, F1 is B. Okay, so map F1, please. Map F1. Oh, no. Do I do that? Did I do that wrong? So maybe the ruins goes for... Okay, each space. Do I skip that then? I think what I'm gonna do, okay. So I'm gonna skip the ruins for the hero card and then whatever the next card comes up, I'll make this on a ruin space, okay? I think that's how we're gonna play it. So, okay, so now I got a mangrove swamp, so now I have to do it on a ruin space. Okay. Problem solved. So let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, Each row that contains three or more forest spaces. Oh, so it's a row, not a column. So I'm gonna do this here, so I have two rows. Yeah, with my lollipop trees. Oh, but I can't. It has to be on a ruined space. Dagnabbit. 
Have to do it here then. Dag nab it. I just told myself that. <laughs> okay, so this is a ruined space. There we go. Okay, can I erase? Let's see. Let's see. I am doing so well today on this map. Oh, goodness. I mean, it's kind of erasing. Don't count these forest spaces, everybody. Don't do it. Apologies for the camera shakes. All right. This is looking lovely. <laughs> Okay. Next card. We've got the Timber Grove. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is the final card of the season. So now we give an L shape or two of those. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that here. All right, there we go. And get myself a coin. All right, now we're scoring. So the first edict says, earn four reputation stars for each row that contains three or more forest spaces. Okay, so here there's only ones. Here's, we, get, we have three, so that is four points. This one is four more points, so that's eight. Eight points there, okay. B says, earn seven reputation stars for each cluster of farm spaces adjacent to at least three water. None of mine are adjacent, so I get zero there, boo. Coins, I have three coins. And the troll spaces, I have one, two spaces there for minus two. So eight, nine, 10, 11, minus two is nine points. Boo, 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 boo. Hi, Googles. I am off to a rough start today. So that remember, destroy an empty space adjacent to the giant troll. So I'm going to have the troll destroy this empty space here. Giant troll space. Ooh, cartographers, yes. I am playing the Undercity map with Cartographer's Heroes today. And uh, you are welcome to play along. I just finished the first edict, so if you want to, Giggles, um, you can hold out and play the next map with me, or if you just want to play the next three rounds just for funsies, you totally can. Um, so this is the Undercity map, and then next I will do the Frozen Expanse map. Okay, so remember this troll is still out destroying things. And then I will put in a new hero and a new ambush card because both of those were revealed. And now we shuffle up. Here, here, I'll shuffle on camera so you can see. So you can see this wonderful card shuffling and then you have no one to blame but the internet. All 
All right. Now we're going to do one more cutting of the deck. There we go. Now, yeah, no, seriously, Joe, that has happened more than once on this channel. <laughs> It's only fair that I do it this way on camera. It's only fair. Okie doke, giggles. Yeah, like I said, we're doing um, a Frozen Expanse, the F1 map. F as in Frozen, one. Okay, here we go. First one. Oh, it's a freebie. Look at that. That's handy. Okay, so we're scoring this and this. So it would help if I did some water over here so I can score this at least seven points. So let's draw some water over here, shall we? Oh, water, water. <clears throat> so at least that will score me seven points. Okay. That was a nice one, freebie. Me mission, mission, mission. Mission. Pronounced like mission. When someone lacks the skills of a proper shuffle, I tend to call it mission impossible. <laughs> is that what it is for me, Tan? Aw, oh, dang it. Is that what it is for me? Mission impossible. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I'm counting it. I'm counting it, Tan. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, next is a settlement. Okay. So we gotta choose a cluster and then for each row and column, I get points for it. Okay. <clears throat> hmm, do I want coins? Coins is points. And then if I did this, this would count for a row as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Or no, I should do it up here. That way I take out the troll. Yeah, it's it's on the same row, but I will need to make sure my troll is taken care of so it can't destroy any other places. There we go. Sweet. Okay, next one is the Timber Grove. Okay, oh, and I did two, so I got a coin for that last one, I forgot. Coins is points, coins is points. Timber Grove. I gotta make my way down here, y'all. Gotta make my way down here. For each different terrain type. The bottom, ooh, it's the bottom, wait. Adjacent to the bottom edge of the map. Okay, so down here. Okay, so I can do that. Okay. Yeah, might as well, huh? Might as well. So, oh wait, or do I want to, or do I want to get a coin here? Ooh, no, I'll do it down here because I will still get a coin because of this shape. Yeah, I'll still get a coin because of that shape. All right, coins. We are at two of seven. So for summertime, it's only seven time until we rotate. And we have a hillside terrace. Ooh, that's very nice. Little two by two square. So, um, if I did up here, it would not, hmm. 
and you'd be next to three water spaces. Maybe I just extend out the water, see if I can get some more fields over here. Extend out the water here, get some more fields. Hmm. Choices, y'all, choices. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. Extend out my water situation. Okay, so then I've got this coin. All right, and currently we're at four of seven then. <laughs> Mission impossible. <laughs> I gotta rehydrate. Oh my goodness, y'all, that's too funny. Too, too funny. Okay, so we got that one next. Ooh, we got a lagoon. Man, got some more water spaces here. Uh, oh, that's, oh, that's unfortunate. Cause if I got, dang. Because that T-shape would be really nice if I could put it here, but I can't because it's not connected to anything. I mean, I guess I could do it here, but I'm trying to get down here on the bottom. Dang. I could do water here, and that can get me closer to that coin. Yeah, okay. I know it's not gonna score me. Those, this is like future turns for this mountain point, though. Right? Future turn for the mountain point? Yeah, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Mission. <laughs> oh, Dan. I think that one's going to stick with me for a while. This is definitely going to stick with me. Oh, too funny. Okay. So we are at two, four, five. Five out of seven. Oh, no. We've got a zombie plague. Ah. After scoring each season, draw a zombie in each empty space adjacent to a zombie. Oh, that's terrible. So it starts up here in the upper left, but I can't draw it because it's not connected to a field yet or to the gate yet until it goes here. So I'm gonna draw it here. Oh, zombie. No, that's ter terrible. All right, so it looks like destroy an empty space adjacent to the giant troll. There is no more empty spaces. So I would think this one is done. So I'm gonna say this, the troll is done. And now we've got the zombie plague. Yuck, yay, good Joe. I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, ugh. Oh, Tan, I have a question. So on this card, just to make sure I'm, I'm playing it correctly. So, um, this, it says just after scoring each season, destroy an empty space adjacent to the giant troll. 
So this was an empty space up here. This is an empty space here that I destroyed, but the only other empty space here is a ruin, but it's not it's not adjacent because this troll got destroyed. So I'm assuming this space will not get destroyed, right? So look, okay. So here we go. Okay, so that this space will stay open because it's not adjacent because this troll got destroyed. So there's technically no more troll spaces to destroy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Panda. Thank you, Tan. All right. We are at five. Here we go. Bam! A ruins. Where are we going to draw a ruins? It's a frontier dwelling. A frontier dwelling. On a ruin space, y'all. Remember, on a ruin space. It's got to be on a ruin space. I'm going to do this here. And don't worry, Joe, I got you on rules. Don't worry. I would be more than happy to explain. Uh, yes and no, Wim. Hi, by the way, good to see you. Uh, so I'm doing Undercity, but I'm also doing Frozen Expanse next. So I am halfway done with this map. When I'm done, I'm going to switch over to Frozen Expanse. So if you want to play Frozen Expanse, please join. Okay, so we've got two, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we're scoring. First, we've got three reputation stars, oh, seven reputation stars for each farm space adjacent to three or more uh, water spaces. So I think it's still just this one for seven. Yeah, this one's seven. Okay, and then C is you take a cluster of village spaces and one point for every row and column. So I'm gonna take this one here because it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six points for that. Then we've got coins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then zombie spaces, I've got one, two, minus two again, gross. 14 and six is 20, minus two is 18. So now I gotta breed a zombie. After scoring, draw a zombie in each empty space adjacent to a zombie. Gross. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, man. The zombies are growing. You were really busy last week. Yeah. Yeah. What is happening, Wim? Busy doing adventure stuff? Jeez. Instead of playing games with your friends? Come on. Yeah, last week I played two games. I played Nebulous and Afro maps of cartographers. And this week I'm doing Undercity and Frozen Expanse. And then next Wednesday I'm going to do Kethra's Step and Hornhelm. Exactly, Tan. Exactly. Sing it out. Sing it proud. Okay. So we need just we need another zombie. Or not not another zombie. Another ambush. And not a hero this time, right? A not a hero this time because the hero did not come out yet. Or no, we do. We do add it. We do add it. <laughs> we do add it. Yes. Hornhelm and Kethra Step. All right. All right. Yep. 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 But you can join for this one, Wim. I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Y'all didn't see me do this. Oh, shoot. 
Okay, here we go. Again, 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 again. Here I go. Shuffling, shuffling some cards on camera so you know I don't cheat. But it doesn't matter because I'll probably still pull really bad cards because that's how it goes. Do, 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 Okay, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Do this one more time. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Do this one more time. And we'll do a nice little cut there. Bam, we are in the fall season. So now I really got to get all the stuff down at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Misha. Oh, Dan. That's so great. Okay. First, we got a settlement. Okay. I need the coins. I need the coins, y'all. Coins are points. Remember, coins are points. So I'm going to do it up here, actually. This one is completed. So get another coin here. All right. And I believe, I don't know if this will be considered cluster because it's divided by the ground line. Is that right? So this would not be a connected cluster. I don't think. I don't think it is. Uh, all right. So next. Mangrove Swamp. Oh, man. I don't like this shape. I don't like this shape. Hmm. I really don't like this shape. I really don't like it. Don't like this shape. Can I do a redraw? No, I can't. Well, you know, I'm gonna, dang. So that's gonna be up here. And, uh, all right, well, it's fine, everybody, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, everybody. It's fine. Okay, so that's three out of seven. Three out of seven there. All right, next. Ooh, we've got a free one. Kethra's Gates. Okay. All right, I'm going to do water here. To block out this zombie. Water. I gotta block out this zombie and this zombie over here. Whew. Not great. Not great, everybody. Okay, so that's zero, so that doesn't count. So we're still three out of seven. And we got a lagoon. A lagoon here. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
Yep, I will do that. I will do that here. Oh no! No, I will do that down here. And that way I get a coin there. Although I could have gotten a coin here, but it's better if I get a coin down there because I'm counting for a different terrain down at the bottom. Yep, better. Better. Okay, this is going to be, this side of my map is not cartographized yet. Sorry for the shaky cam. Okay, here we go. So we're at four of seven. Oh no! It's a dragon inferno. Okay, uh, when all spaces of the dragon are surrounded or destroyed, gain three coins. So we're starting at the bottom here, bottom left. Oh, and it can't, it's not gonna reach there yet. So it's gonna go Oh, it can't go here. It's gonna have to come around. So it starts here, but I can't draw it. So I can draw it like that, but it's not touching anything, so it's not connected. So I have to go up here, up here, up here, up here, to here. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. What the heck is a dragon doing way over here? Oh, good grief. Yeah, oh, good grief. Is right. Dragon. Ugh, that's terrible, y'all. That's terrible. Look, there's no heroes around. It's just hanging out by some water. <sighs> Jeez. Gotta keep this open. I remember to get my coins when I destroy it. When? Ugh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now I've got a hero. UV two hearts. So, let's see. What is best? Oh, I could do I could do him up here. I could do this up here. So if I put him here, then he's going to destroy this back here. But he'll skip this one, but it's still blocked. And then he's destroying this zombie and this zombie. So the zombie can't do anything. <laughs> okay, that was okay. I'm I'm fine with that, UV. I'm fine with that. Good job. You did your job. All right. Next, we've got a pasture. It's uh yeah, he does. He does, Tan. He does the one behind him. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Sure, sure, sure. So, yeah, in theory, you should put a little asterisk there. I get you. Okay, so pasture. Okay. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'll do that and get a coin. Yes, yes, I understand. 
Okay, so that's a coin there. So we got three, four, five out of seven. Oh, we got another ruins. And it's a hillside terrace, so this is the last card of round three. Um, it needs to be on a ruin space. Cover up the dragon here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Legends. Hi, Legends. Okay, let's count them up. So, C, each cluster. So, I don't think this, this divides... Does this divide above and below as a cluster? Or would that count as the cluster? I think it divides it. One, two, three, four, five, six still. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna double check. Does that divide into two, se two sections? Yeah, there's connected by the gate. Okay, so that's the only way they're connected, not Okay, so those are two separate sections. Gotcha. Okay. So we still have six for that one. D is five stars for each different terrain adjacent to the bottom edge. So I have one, two, three, four different terrain for 20 points. Mountains do not count. And then coins, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 coins. Here's where the monsters get dangerous. One, two, three, four. Oh, only four. Okay, minus four. 36 minus four is 32. Okay. Now we have to do zombie. Zombies, each space adjacent. These are destroyed, so no more zombies. When all of the spaces of the dragon are surrounded or destroyed, gain three coins. Okay, so I'm adding these in here to here. We're on the final edict. Then we're gonna be playing some Frozen Expanse later. Thank you everybody for joining me today, for hanging out, waiting to play along. I'm super excited to try out these new maps. I mean, I've played Under City before. It was really great. Um, I like throwing in the Heroes expansion or the Heroes uh, variant to it. It gives it a little extra flavor. And some of these heroes are new that I threw in there. It was a nice little promo pack that I got from uh, uh, Thunderworks. Okay, here we go. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffling, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh, we hope your fiance is doing good too. Legends, yeah. Best wishes to her. Uh, 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 uh. All the good vibes, right? All the good vibes. All right, one last time, here we go. And we'll cut it. Okay, we're going into the winter season. Scoring Edict D and Edict A, which is the three forest spaces in a row will get me some points. Okay, let's do this. We start with a pasture. Okay, so we already have, we already have that going on. C, 
So let's see. I can get this here so we can try to Yeah, try to get some of these dragon spaces out. So we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, okay. Yeah, sending you all the good vibes, legends. Okay, ooh, we got a settlement now. So we're gonna do this over here so I can finish this mountain. All right, so that mountain is complete. Okay, so we're at two of six, everyone, two of six here. Oh, we got a hillside terrace. Okay, I think I'm gonna put that here. Almost got the whole dragon surrounded. So four out of six. Oh no! Oof! And it's a timber grove. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Cause, cause then I could do this here. And the dragon is defeated, so I got three coins. Goodbye, dragon. So we're at two, four, five out of six. And the Wildwood Garden. This is the last one we've got. Wildwood Garden. <laughs> Poor smog. Okay. So we'll do that final piece. Here we go. All right, that was a very fast round. So let's count them up, everybody. Uh, so we're scoring D. So earn five reputation stars for each different terrain, not including mountains. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four again for 20 points. Then A, we're doing the three row, three, four spaces or more. So we got one, two, three, four, five, times four is 24 points. Coins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 coins. And no monster spaces, I finally covered all of them. So we have 20, 44, 54, 58. That was an awesome round, okay.
Let's add them up. So 27, 27, 29, 59, 109, 117, minus 30, 46, 48, 58, 68, 78, 82. Minus 82. Oh gosh. Let's see. Minus 82. Let's see. I'll make sure I did that math right. 32 and 18 and 9. Yeah, minus 82 is 35, positive 35. That's not bad. Making sure that's correct. So we got 24 and 12 and 16 and 30. Yeah, 82, so positive 35. What does it say? What does it say for solo? Positive 35. I'm a legendary cartographer. Sweet. <laughs> that is <laughs> that has never really happened to me before. Uh rare has it happened. Uh okay, so I'm going to reset and do the frozen expanse map. Thank you, Giggles. If everybody wants to play along, I am going to do the F1 map. So frozen one map. So here we are, we'll do a little switchy switch here. Frozen one map, okay. I like this, I like this one. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to try to figure out where um, where to go for connecting to the, um, the gate. That's all. That's always a difficult thing, but I feel like it kind of clicked after a second, after I messed up a few times. That's why I'm glad I used um, pencil, <laughs> not pen. All right, so we're gonna get this one here. We'll use this one here, and we'll use this one here. All right, so we got this, we got this. And we got this. You're using magic markers. Oh, Joe. <laughs> All right, so in this one, Let's see, Undercity. Undercity is done. Frozen Expanse includes new hero cards and new ambush cards. So the Undercity had this one, this one, yeah, okay, so these are those map cards, so I needed just the regular hero edict cards. And we're going to get two new, so we use our, we'll use the promo heroes and two of the ambush cards. Okay, so let's separate these out. And then, There we go. Okay, so we're gonna use for Undercity, the Undercity map cards are here. We don't need those anymore. So for the Frozen Expanse, it has a new map sheet, two new hero cards, 
or sorry, two new ambush cards and one hero card. So it says select two other and uh, two other ambush cards at random, shuffle them together with the two new ambush cards to form the ambush deck. All right, so we're gonna take out two cards there, and then these two new cards go in here, and we'll shuffle them. Yes, those are the colors. Um, if you wanna use a separate color for, mo for uh, heroes, you can. I used pink for heroes. And then, okay, so we're going to take out this hero card and then shuffle this one in. Oh, man. That's unfortunate, Tan. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that, Tan. All right, so we're doing F1 here. And we will get one card here and one card here. And we'll reset this. And we are doing Frozen Expanse. Do the heroes add much complexity? No, they don't. They don't. They just help you with uh, taking care of monsters and or ambush cards and uh, welcome in evil turnip. Yeah, they help destroy monster spaces. So, okay, so here we go. For Frozen Expanse, it says uh, players decide which map sheet to use. We are using F1, Frozen 1. Add two new ambush cards to the ambush deck. Uh, playing with cartographer's heroes. Select three other heroes cards at random. Uh, scouted spaces have faded marks that indicate one of the four primary terrain type, village, farm, forest, or water. These spaces begin empty and can only be, be filled with a terrain of the indicated type. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, no worries. So you will see on your map spaces, friends, there are some terrain here. So we've got a village space, we've got forest spaces, we've got farmlands, and we've got water. In order to um, fill those spaces in, they must match the terrain type it is shown, okay? So this one over here must be a village space versus this one over here must be a forest space. The uh, diagonal slashes are farmland. The diagonal slashes are farmland. And the zigzags, the kind of uh, squiggly horizontal lines are water, okay? Wim, you're in luck. I have a link for you to get a PDF if you want to um, play along. You are welcome to, Wim, okay? So if they must fill in, however, hero attack patterns can still be drawn in those scouted spaces. Okay, so even though there's some that designate a certain terrain type, um, you will put in, you can still put a hero in that empty, in those terrain types. It doesn't necessarily mean um, they have to be there. If a player cannot legally draw any of the available shapes due to the additional limitations of the scouted out spaces, they must instead draw a one by one square anywhere on their map and fill it with any terrain type, excluding mountains. Oh yes, Giggles, thank you for that. Thank you for that additional information. During scoring at the end of summer and winter, each player earns one reputation star for each scouted space that is filled on their map. Scouted spaces have been filled, but then destroyed do not count. Okay. Uh, frozen Lake. Here's the Frozen Lake. When a player surrounds the Frozen Lake on their map by filling in all the adjacent spaces, and that's here orthogonally around, they immediately gain three coins for the F1 map. Lake spaces are considered to be filled in spaces, but they have no terrain. Okay, so these are considered filled in spaces, but no terrain. So, all right. Uh, so again, I will mention... 
When we are playing with this frozen expanse, you will notice there are different terrain types that are kind of shaded in in order to, um, what is that thing on the frozen lake? Yes, it is a submarine. That is right. Oh, sorry about that, Wim. Yes, feel free to just hang out. No worries at all. That is a submarine. So they're saying this lake is considered filled in. Um, scouted spaces seem like a cool addition. I haven't played any of the expansions at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, hate to be the submarine stuck in a frozen lake. Agreed, agreed. Uh, okay, so remember these shaded areas uh, can only be filled in if they if they have the matching terrain type. Okay. Um, if you cannot do any of that, then you can fill in a one by one square anywhere on your map. And then we will go ahead with the, um, with the game here. Make sure you write your name on your paper. I am the X Bander Extraordinaire. Expander Extraordinaire. There we go. We are not doing skills, correct. I will probably use skills next week so you all can see. So no skills. Lost boy. Aw, like Peter Pan. I like it. I like it. Okay. So remember, friends, whenever you do this, the drawing of the terrain, it has to match. Um, there's no limitation now on whether or not it has to be above or below ground because it's all level playing fields. So you can basically draw wherever you want. However, just making sure that you match the terrain if it has a shaded area. Coins are only used as points, correct. Um, there are skills. The skills... Um, the skills are what coins can be spent on. Um, coins do not get spent in this uh, map. Yeah. All right, here we go. Hey, we get a freebie. <laughs> Why does this feel so familiar with what I did? Oh, duh. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can, Giggles. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So we've got the deep wood, everybody. Earn six reputation stars for each cluster of five or more forest spaces not adjacent to any villages. Okay? Five or more forests not adjacent to a village. All right. Next. We've got four reputation stars for each water space adjacent to two or more village spaces. Okay, so it's similar. Forests are water and farms want to be a close. Sorry, I misspoke there. Let me reread that. Earn four reputation stars for each water space adjacent to two or more farm spaces. Okay. Water wants to be adjacent to farms. Next, we have got the monastery. Earn seven reputation stars for each cluster of village spaces that contains four spaces in a four by one or four by four rectangle. Okay, so see how there's four in a, in a row, like in the single column here, four by one or one by four, they will say. So this example shows this does not get seven points. This one does, however. So one by four piece of, uh, of the village spaces. And then finally, we've got the dwarven holds. Earn seven reputation stars for each complete row or complete column of filled in spaces that contains a mountain. That would be seven points 
for the village giggles. However, it has to be one, it has to include a one by four section in the village. Okay. And it counts. So if there's in the cluster, I should say. So if there's more, more columns like that in a, the same cluster, you only count it per cluster. And this one filled in rows or columns that include a mountain space. Ooh, so these are kind of tricky. These are kind of tricky. All right, free space, freebie space. So right now we are scoring A and B. So we need four, five or more forest spaces. Two or more village. The purple is a monster. The purple is a monster. So you can draw a free monster if you want to. However, for every orthogonal adjacent square next to a monster, we'll give you minus one point at the end of each season. Okay? So it doesn't really work to do a monster space now. Um, but it is totally up to you. I am going to do a forest space here because there's already a forest space needing to be filled in. Okay. Yes. So it is six points, giggles for five or more forest spaces together. Yeah, five plus forest spaces. Six points for the card. Yeah, unless you're doing golf scoring. Correct, correct. All right, next one. We've got a coastal encampment. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So again, this one, farmland has to be adjacent to two or, or sorry, water has to be adjacent to two or more farmland spaces. Water adjacent to two or more farmland spaces. Okay. Hmm. And you don't want forests next to villages. You don't want forests next to villages. Okay, I'm going to do, going to do a village over here. Because that covers up a lot of this frozen lake here. We're at two of eight now, everyone, two of eight. And currently this is a three by one column. So if I get another village space here or here, that will count towards this objective in the future. Yes, they can. They can be flipped. Yep. And they can also be mirrored as well. So, so see, it shows like this, Joe, you can, you can draw it this way. You can draw it this way. You can draw it this way. Yeah. Okay, next one we've got is the frontier dwelling. Frontier dwelling is a T 
Uh, giggles. Let's see. If you manage to make a T four by four within the village, can you get seven points twice, vertical and horizontal? It says uh, for each cluster that contains four spaces in a one by four or a four by one. So no, if it's connected to the same cluster, you only score it once. So it's per cluster. Good question though. Okay. Um. Hmm. I need farm adjacent to water. So I will need to do a farm space here. So I will do like this. Because there is a water space here. Okay, we are at four out of eight. Four out of eight, everyone. Next, oh gosh, we have a woodland crossroads. It's a T shape. Hmm. Not next to villages, okay. Yeah, I think I gotta do, gonna do this over here. And my lollipop forest. Okay, so we are at six out of eight right now, friends, six out of eight. If you need me to slow down or anything, please let me know. Okie doke, let's see what we got. Oh, it's a ruins. And, oh, it's a hero. So this happened last time. Uh, Well, good. So la last time, so I'm gonna do all the hero wherever, and then the ruin space is going to be for the next shape. So the hero, you're going to draw a one by one square with the hero and then everywhere the blast marks are, that's the spaces that the hero defends. Heroes can be, um, I believe they can be rotated, but their blast, their defense zone has to be in that orientation. Uh, 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 uh. Defends, yes, so these can still go in that space, correct. So like Tan was mentioning in the last game, 
it probably makes sense to do like a little star somewhere on those sh on those spaces where the hero is, uh, where their attack pattern is, and then if the, any of those filled in spaces happen to get filled in with monsters, then those spaces would actually get destroyed because they're defending that area. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's say I did a hero here. So I'll put Ubi here. Okay, that's that's where it's standing. Then this space directly behind him is getting defended. And then these two spaces up here are also getting defended. Okay? No, the Ruin will be the next card. The Ruin will be the next card. So draw Ubi wherever, wherever you want with its defense pattern. And then the Ruins will be considered for the next shape that I draw. Okay? So yeah, I'll leave him out for just a second. Monsters will appear in this draw deck here, Joe. So at the beginning of the game, I put in one hero and one monster. And then for every consecutive season, I add another monster and I add another hero to the deck. However, when they get revealed, when a hero card gets revealed, or when the monster gets revealed, um, they get discarded, okay? The monsters will be placed, it will show on the monster card where on the map they will start and you must draw them in that space. It's usually on, it starts on a corner. So if there's a le if there's empty spaces in that corner of your map, then you will draw it there. We're playing this as the solo rules. That's what the solo rules say. Heroes can, heroes can be on the shaded spots, Giggles. Uh, let's see. De -de 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 -de. Hero attack patterns can be drawn on scouted spaces. Oh, they're attack patterns. So not necessarily the hero itself, but their attack pattern um, can be drawn on shaded spaces. And Joe, to answer your question, we are usually in a multiplayer game. When a monster comes out, you normally will hand your paper to a player on your left or on your right, and they would draw the monster somewhere on your map for you. However, since we're doing this remotely, we're going to go by the solo rules, and the solo rules will show on the card itself where abouts on your board, on your player sheet, the monster is supposed to be drawn, okay? Um, but we haven't gotten a monster yet, so right now this hero is kind of just prepping, prepping for battle. All right, so the hero is out. And now the ruined space is still in play, so we're going to draw. Oh, crap. <laughs> now we have a monster. Monster is also ignored from the ruins. Monsters are different than the ruins. So now we're going to, perfect example, perfect example time, we're going to draw the monster. Now, how the monster works is you look at up here in the top. So right here, it's showing the bottom right corner of your player sheet. That is where the monster has to be drawn if there are empty spaces to do so. For my player sheet, there are. So I'm going to draw just as it shows here, which is three, three squares, just like that, on the bottom right corner of my player sheet. So I can't do it here. I'll have to go here. The monster does not go on the ruin space, so the ruin space will be next. And the monster, uh, let's see, monsters. Monsters can still, I believe monsters can still be filled in on those um, scouted spots. Yes. Yeah.
Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Kess. Thank you so much for clarifying. So yeah, so I'm going to draw the Gorgon here. So G. After drawing the Gorgon, destroy, destroy an adjacent non-mountain space. So it's going to destroy this space here. Grub. Boo urns. Boo, 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 boo urns. Okay, so this one also goes away. Now, we're still on the ruins. <laughs> we're still going to draw something on the ruins now. Here we go. Okay, so Wildwood Garden. So this shape has to be drawn on a ruin space. Okay. Wildwood Garden on a ruin space. And remember, we are going to score at the end of this card. Okay. At the end of this card. Okie doke. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't questioning Kess. I was thinking, well, maybe she's got it all memorized. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, we're scoring everybody. First round of scoring. Ugh, this is, this is not, this is not going out very well. Not going well. So, six points for each cluster of forest that is at least five or more squares. Okay, so I have one cluster here for six points. Next, we've got the Wallow. Um, four reputation stars for each water adjacent to two or more farms. I did not draw any water this time, so I get zero there. How many coins do I have? Zero. How many minus points do I have for the Gorgon? One two, three, four, they're only orthogonal spaces. So I have a whopping two points for that round. <laughs> I love it, Cass, I love it. Oh, good gravy, good gravy. Not a great start, not a great start. Okay, so we'll shuffle these again. We're gonna add a hero and a ambush. Oh, got to remember, we got to, I got to shuffle on camera, everybody. Got to shuffle on camera. And after the summer, we are going to score points for the number of filled in uh, scouted spaces there. Three points, Giggles. Yeah, that was rough. That was a very rough first go of it. Joe Sondow, how you doing, my dear? You doing all right? Also got two points. Yeah, see, that was hard. So it says, during the scoring at the end of summer and winter, each player earns one reputation star, star for each scouted space filled in appropriately on their map. Scouted spaces have been filled but destroyed do not count. Okay. 
So remember, the shaded spaces are going to be scouted spaces, and they can only be filled in with the matching terrain type. Um, so yeah, there we go. And now we're going to score again for the farmland adjacent to water and for the cluster of village spaces that has at least a one by four. Uh, no, so we're only scoring the scouted spaces giggles at the end of summer and at the end of winter. So we're only scoring them twice. We do not score them now. We do not score them now. Okay, here we go. We're starting with a lagoon, everybody, a lagoon. All right, let's get some water here. Let's some water. Okay, since I did that one, I get a coin. Dutch! So the scouted spaces, remember, so these, remember, Joe, the shaded areas that have a terrain type on them, those are called scouted spaces. When you fill in a scouted space with that matching terrain type, you will get one point at the end of the summer season for each of those, and one point at the end of the winter season for each of those. So in my, in my example here, I have a forest space that I matched with a forest terrain, and another forest space down here that I matched with a forest terrain. And then this one I just filled in with water. So this one has a water. So currently I have three points for those scouted spaces. Dutch, this map is the one I really let it go. We do get points, yes. I, I read that at, at the beginning, but it might have been missed, so no worries. We will score it at the end of this season, and then we will score it another time at the end of winter season, okay? So my apologies if that was missed. All right, here we go. Next, oh, we got a ruins for a terrace. Okay, so ruin spaces, a ruin space must be a hillside terrace, so we either do a two by two square on a ruin space. The scouted spaces also restrict what we can draw. Yes, exactly right. So whatever, whatever icon is showing on that scouted space, that's the type of terrain it must be for that space. Okay, so we've got a ruins with a hillside terrace. Okay. So that's already scoring me points because it's next to two or more farm. If I did more water here, I could potentially get another farm up here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I think I'm gonna do my two by two up here on a ruined space with hopes of getting another farm space over here. Yeah, okay. All right, next. Oh no, we've got a frost giant 
Uh-oh, this is a new ambush card for this map. When all the spaces of the Frost Giant are surrounded or destroyed, fill in a scouted space or fill in a ruined space with any terrain type, excluding mountains. Okay. Now we are doing up here in the upper right-hand corner. There we go. Thank you, Kess. So I got to draw it down here. Frost Giant Advance. Yeah, they're very inconvenient. Agreed. I drew my hero in the exact wrong place. Oh, I did it wrong. Oops, I did it wrong. It had to go counterclockwise. Sorry, so we're starting up here and it has to go counterclockwise. My bad. So actually it's up here. My bad, everybody. That's why you gotta pay attention to what it says. So it's gotta go this way. If the hero sword is on a space, does the monster need to move over? So the hero, the hero, let's see, all monsters. So the hero must move over, uh, the, the monster must move over. So the monster, Joe, if I'm if I read it correctly, the monster cannot be on the the hero space itself, but it can be in the defense areas. Okay? So I apologize if that's not clear. So you can't draw it directly on the sword space where the hero is standing. Okay. Yeah, the sword is not a defense area. Okay, so yeah, so this one here, the frost giant has to be over here because it's going counterclockwise. Okay. Oof, that was, in, that was intense. All right, next one. Woodland Crossroads. So we are currently at five of seven for the summertime. And remember, we are going to... Oh, dang it. Yes, giggles. <laughs> giggles! Oh, my goodness. You are correct. You are correct. Thank you. Glad I'm not doing this in Magic Marker. <laughs> it's just so, I usually would have these sheets laminated, but since they are new packs, I hadn't had time to laminate them yet. Um, no, you are totally correct, though. Hi, Dino Corgi. Welcome in. Okay, so yes, it has to go like this. The Frost Giant is like this. Third time's a charm, right? Third time's a charm. <laughs> ah, okay, now we're doing a Woodland Crossroads. Oh, that's too funny. Okay. 
Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Um, you can... I would say definitely start off with just like the base maps, Joe. Definitely just start off with the base maps um, and then kind of go from there. Total right now. So right now, Giggles, we are at five of seven. We're at five of seven. Woodland Crossroads. Okay, um, and I need to make sure I get my four by one here. Oh, come on now. Can I do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that here. I know it's not a four by one, but at least I want to cover these monster spaces. Okay. Whoops. Oh, and now we have a new hero, Chieftain Drenny. Chieftain Drenny can be drawn in a scouted space. Okay. So their attack pattern, so it looks like there's the hero spot, they skip a space over, and then they have this L shape as their attack pattern. Okay. In the depicted, yeah, in the depicted um, space relative to the hero. So I believe so. I believe they can. Let's see. Hero cards, let's see. I believe so. I want to know more. Seriously, right? Um, Tan, if you're still here, question. I believe so, Joe. Uh, let's see. Because it says each player marks the spaces in the depicted attack pattern relative to the hero space. Patterns can overlap filled spaces and the edge of the map. Yeah, so hero spaces can be rotated and their attack patterns can be rotated. So if we wanted to attack the pattern like this, Joe, that is okay. Or if they wanted to attack like this, that is also okay. You rotate and flip the complete pattern. Yes, yeah, so it's like this, you can do that. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do that. So if I did this, it would take out this here, this here, and this here. And then I skip a space and then the hero would be here. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome, Joe. You're welcome and thanks, Tan. Yeah, it looks pretty cool though. He's got like a, uh, like a, a staff, like a glowing staff and stuff. Pretty sweet. Okay, we are still at five of seven, everybody. 
Now we've got a timber grove. Six of seven. Remember we're scoring these two here. Yay! Yes, 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 yes. So whatever open, whatever open orthogonal space is next to your monster, it is minus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you did uh, rotate it at 180 and put the top corner open attack is still a one by one scoring. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it would still be minus one. Yeah, right here. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Good job, Joe. All right. So I've got... Man, I need to get some more coins. More coins, everybody. So I am going to, yeah, I'm gonna do this here. Oh no, I wanna do, yeah, I gotta do it down here. Oh, not adjacent to village bases. <gasps> Shoot. Can't do it, I'll have to do it. Oh, no, no, no. Dang it, I can't do it there. I could do it here, I'll do it here. Can't score those forest spaces if they're adjacent to village, so I can't do that. So my Gorgon is taken out. Still have the Frost Giant, which is terrible. This is currently round two, Joe. Make sure you circle your coins you've gotten and you add them every single time. Every every season you add them to your, your score. Okay, so that gave me a coin. All right, so we are at one, two, three, four, five, six out of seven. Let's see what we get next. We got a frontier dwelling, so we are scoring for summertime after this. So that is one, two, three, like this. Okay. Yes, you can. You can draw on a ruin now. Yes. You can draw on a ruin at any time, but you must draw on a ruin if there's a ruin card that comes out.
Okay, we're gonna score. So we're going B, four points for every water adjacent to two or more farms. So I've got one here. <laughs> Great, for four points. And then seven points for each cluster of villages that is a four by one. So I have one cluster for seven. And then I have two coins. Monster spaces, I have minus one, two, three, three, minus three. Seven, 11, 12, 13, so 10 for me. And then one point for each filled in scouted space. So I have one, two, three, three scouted spaces for three more points. Okay. So it is four points for each water space adjacent to two or more farm spaces. So four points each. I thought I had more scouted spaces than I do. Darn. I mean, I guess I could shift that over, but that's okay. That's okay, it is what it is. All right. So we got this, we got one more hero, one more ambush. And remember when you fill in, when you fill in all of the frost giant surrounded space, you will fill in a scouted space or a ruined space with any terrain. So Joe, I remember you said you, you defeated your frost giant. So the bonus for the frost giant is you pick any ruined space or any scouted space and fill it in with a terrain. So let's see, I could do this ruined space down here if I wanted with anything, or I could do this village space with a village, okay? That's only after you've defeated the frost giant. So I'll leave that out for you. Okay, here we go, shuffle, shuffle. We're going into winter, no, we're going into autumn. Autumn slash fall. And do a little cut. Do another cut. There we go. Okay, we are going into fall. So now we are scoring the four by one cluster of village bases and filling in each completed row or completed column with a mountain space. Oh gosh, I was totally ignoring that. Also a reminder, if you fully orthogonally surround a mountain, you get a coin, yes. Thank you, thank you, Giggles, for that reminder. So if you surround a mountain north, south, east, and west with filled in spaces, you get the coin. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're starting with the ruins, great. And it is a mangrove swamp. Ice spaces are filled in, yes, correct. Mangrove swamp on a ruins, everybody. Okay, what does it say about ruins? Do, 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 do. Yeah, so you must draw it on a ruins. If you cannot legally draw any of the available shapes due to the additional restrictions of the scouted spaces, then you must instead draw a one by one square anywhere on your map.
Okay, so ruins spaces. Uh, this is unfortunate because I have a ruins here and a ruins here and a ruins here. But this is the only legal place I could play. That follows all the restrictions of this map. There we go. Okay, so that's a ruins. Two out of seven now. Two out of seven. Gotta remember, I got all these up here too. Ugh. A lagoon. We got a lagoon. Hmm, that one's tricky also. I guess I could do that here. And that'll give me two coins. So that's a filled in mountain. And because I did this smaller shape, I get a coin. All right. Three out of seven, everybody. Here we go. Wildwood Garden. Okay, that is a regular space. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, that'll be nice. So I could fill in here my farmland and then fill in up here for more farmland. And that'll give me a coin because that mountain is now surrounded. And I'll get another point because it's a it's a farmland. Perfect. All right, we are at five of seven in the fall season. I'm totally not scoring anything for <laughs> objective D. I'm realizing. Ugh. Okay. Oh, and it's another ruined space. So this time we're going to draw a woodland crossroads on a ruined space, if you can. If you cannot, then you're just going to draw a one by one square of any terrain type. Yeah, I cannot because my ruined spaces are here and here and I cannot. I need a one by one space somewhere then. So I'm gonna draw one by one over here. There we go. If you don't have any rune spaces left, Joe, then you can draw a one by one square anywhere on your map of any terrain. And that is seven everybody so we are scoring at the end of drawing this shape we are going to score for fall this one is complicated for sure for sure okay so we are scoring letter c every one by four grouping of uh 
villages in a cluster, you will get seven points. So I have one, two clusters I managed to squeeze out. Diagonals are not adjacent to each other, so there's two separate clusters here. So I get two of those for seven points each, that is 14. D, earn seven stars for each completed row or completed column of filled in spaces that include a mountain. I am so close, so this one is not. This one is not. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any filled in spaces that have mountains in them. Boo. Yeah, same, same giggles. Count your coins, one, two, three, four, five coins for me. Then we've got our monster. So this monster is done. One, two, three, still minus three for those. 19 minus three is 16. Okay, not great, not terrible. And so we are moving into the final round, adding the final hero and ambush card. Five points, 11 points for Joe. Book of Nerds scored 334. He's apparently playing a different game. Bam! <laughs> hi, Slivers. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, hope you're doing well. 335. All right. All right. <laughs> Slivers, is, Slivers and Book of Nerds are apparently playing the same game, but they're different than us. 336, says <laughs> Can I get 337? <laughs> GG, Slivers. <laughs> Oh gosh, all right, we're gonna cut. Do the last little bit. I scored a million bajillion points. See, that's the ultimate cartographer. Ultimate cartographer score here, million bajillion. All right. Going into winter season. Gotta fill in these rows and columns, everybody. Relearning Grand Austria, oh, I love that game. Are you gonna play it on stream, John? Um, if you need someone to play with you, I would gladly play it with you. I own a copy of it, by the way. BT dubs. Not to impose, uh, just saying. <laughs> okay, everybody, here it goes. We're starting off with a Timber Grove. Agreed, Ben, it is a good game. Oh, it's on Yukata, okay. Okay, I need to get some mountain points. Oh, I forgot, I got this coin. I filled that in from last round. So I get this one, so I actually have six coins. So I would get 17. 17 for that round, 17. Okay. All right. Oh, it's a, yeah, if you wanna do solo, that's totally cool. I was just saying, if you were looking for somebody to play it with, uh, I would gladly join you, but no pressure if you wanted to do it solo, it's totally cool. All well, this is an issue. Because these frost giants are in my way. And I can't score. Oh, I'm not scoring for this anymore. So that's fine. I could totally do that. So I could totally do this. That's fine. Yeah, I could totally do that. And that gives me a coin. Yeah, send me a DM. 
Send me a DM. Were you planning on playing it tomorrow? Were you doing it tomorrow, John? Because I think I'm free. Anyway, talk to me afterwards. Ruins. Time for a ruin space. And it's a pasture. It's a pasture. Pasture on a ruins. And remember, if you can't legally play this on a ruin space, then just fill in a one by one square. Wherever. Yeah, I'll DM you. I'm pretty sure it works, but um, let me DM you. No, if you're out of ruin spaces, jo uh, Joe, you have to draw one by one. Because that's the restriction. All right, so we are two of six. Oh, we've got the giant troll ravage. After scoring each season, destroy an empty space adjacent to the giant troll. Boo earns. Okay, so we're starting in the upper right, upper right hand corner. And we are going in a clockwise direction. So the ambush cards, I think they go inward. You rotate and then you go inward. Yeah, so solo without without flipping or rotating, starting in the corner, proceed all the way around the edge of the map in the directed. If you cannot legally draw anywhere around the edge, move one space from the edge and attempt to draw it again. Okay, so we're starting in the upper right hand corner and we have to go clockwise. So I can't legally draw this here, 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 here. So I start one square in and no two squares in there we go so it's it's here T T for the troll thankfully this hero took out this one and this one then it says, after scoring each season, draw an empty space adjacent. So we have to make sure we destroy an empty space next next to the troll. Yes, so Joe, uh, this one says, after scoring each season, destroy an empty space adjacent to the giant troll. Since we are in the final season, it doesn't really matter, but um, that's what you have to do. Okay, so there's the troll. Yeah, it won't matter. It won't matter. All right, here we go. Lagoon. Destroyed spaces do not count as minus one. I don't believe so. I don't believe so, Giggles. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it counts as a filled in space. It has no terrain. It's a filled in space, no terrain. Yeah, Giggles is playing on hard mode. <laughs> All right, the next card we have is a lagoon, everybody. We're doing a lagoon here. Um, I'm going to do a lagoon here. I 
And then I get a coin for that. So we are at three of six for winter. Three of six. Yeah, I'm not, I feel, I realize I'm not scoring anything for that. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, oh, we got another ruins is out. And we're doing a frontier dwelling on a ruins. Remember, if you cannot draw this shape on a ruins, you just draw a one by one square wherever you like. I'm going to draw a forest up here. Try to block this frost giant as much as possible. So one, two, three, four, five of six. Five of six, everybody. Not to be confused with seven of nine. We're at five of six. So the next card I pull might be the end of the game. We shall see. Oh, it is not. It is the Immortal Knight. It's another hero. We get another hero right now, Giggles. So this Gorgon's taken out. Let's see. So if I drew like this, Oh, that won't work because that's already a water space. No! Darn it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do hero here yeah the hero is gonna go here and then it's gonna do this space here this space here this space here and then it will destroy this frost giant so I'll still have a space here Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, next card is the end of the game. We've got a hillside terrace, everybody. And I cannot draw a hillside, oh, I can. I could draw the hillside here, okay. Yeah, it's a two by two by two with the fields. That's actually pretty good. All right, water or farm, yes, yes. Two by two, water or farm. <clears throat> okay, time to score. So this one filled in rows or columns that could have a, a mountain. Nope, nope, nope. Good grief. No, I had zero on that one. This one seems difficult. 
This one seems like a difficult one to achieve. Then we're going back to A, every cluster of five or more forest spaces not connected to a village, you get additional points. Six points per cluster. I only have one of those. Oh, that was silly. I could have done over here. That was silly, my mistake. So I only have six points for that. Coins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. Then we have monster spaces. So one, two, minus two for monsters. So six and eight is 14, minus two is 12. Then every scouted space, you score again. I have one here, two here. Three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven, looks like seven. Let me try to do this again. Go back one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, yeah. And remember, if you surrounded the lake, you get the three extra coins. Uh, so every row that is completely filled in, including a mountain, Joe, is seven points. And every column that is completely filled in, including a mountain, is seven points. All right, 12, 15, 27, 32, 42, 44, 47, 51. Oh gosh. That did not seem great. Did not seem great. This one, this one was definitely tricky. This one was definitely tricky. Yeah. And then minus, what do we got? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm gonna be in negatives today for the solo mode. For the solo mode. Oh, 74, okay, so minus 23 on that one. Minus 23 on that one, and then what did I get? Positive 35 on the other one, yeah. This one was definitely tricky, 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 tricky. 66 for your final score. Very nice, Joe. From the um, solo mode, what happens if to get your overall score, you add up these stars here on each of the edicts and you subtract it from your final total. And that is considered your solo score. So subtract 66 from 74 and you have minus eight, 53 for giggles, minus 21, I have minus 23. Should have put that last hillside terrace somewhere else to go, yeah, 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 yeah. There were placement rules that I was not paying attention to. Um, it was also complex with the, um, with the new ambush cards as well as the new um, hero card. Yes, we're golf scoring it. Um, but overall, okay, so I liked, so far, I like both of both of the maps that we played today. Frozen Expanse is definitely tricky in that you have restrictions on the map um, as well as some other uh, ambush cards um, to kind of mix it up a bit. Uh, I will have to play this again to kind of see if there's a better strategy, but I think out of the two that we played today, the, for, uh, the Frozen Expanse was definitely more difficult. Um, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much to everyone for uh, joining me. Let's get some GGs in the chat. Gameritis guy. Yes, you are late, but it is okay. It is okay. You can watch the VOD. You can play along. Thank you. Thank you, Joe, for playing with me. Thank you, Giggles, for playing with me. Thank you to everybody that was given some help um, in the rules and the clarifications. This was my first time um, playing the Frozen Expanse map. I played the Undercity map a couple times before, so I was familiar with that, but this one was all new to me. So thank you everybody for your patience, for um, 
allowing me to go through and check the rule book and clarify some things. And shout out again to uh, Thunderworks for providing these expansions. Um, I appreciate them. Next Wednesday, I will be playing um, this one more time with Map Pack 5 and Map Pack 6. So if you want to join me for that, definitely feel free to do so. 10 a.m. Pacific time next Wednesday. All right, who do we got that we can send over on a raid? Oh, Raina is on. I have yet to see her in quite a while. So let's send over everybody to the wonderful Raina. Um, she is a VTuber, a definite, definite one that does a lot of video games, but also enjoys board games and things too. So please send her a lot of love. If you're a subscriber to the channel, please feel free to use the CCG raid emotes. Um, and now all the magic markers are back where they belong. Good, good, good. Um, otherwise feel free to use just some basic raid emotes. Thanks, everybody. I will be back on Friday, Friday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific, with more Alba, A Wildlife Adventure. I've been really enjoying that video game on Switch, so I will continue our adventure then. Um, so right now, stay tuned for the raid, and uh, I'll catch you all on the next stream. Bye, everybody.